go away, there's still a lot more to see coming up next on Home Theater Network. Mama takes a trip. Join her next. Jim Peck, and welcome to Passport Profile. Our guest today is the cartoonist to writer of Mama and Miss Peach comic strips, Mel Lazarus. Mel has twice won the coveted National Cartoonist Society Humor Strip of the Year Award. Recently, he won the Rubin Award for Cartoonist of the Year. I'm impressed. Welcome, sir. Me too. Yes. Hi, Jim. You know, it's easy for, uh, for us to travel anywhere in the world, but, but what's it like for, uh, for one of your most uh, popular characters, uh, Mama? What, uh, let us say that uh, Mama were uh, traveling and, and living in France. How would she be different? Well, essentially, she wouldn't, except she'd probably uh, nail her kids' shoes to the floor and stuff them like a Strasbourg goose, <laughs> uh, instead of simply putting the food on the table, as American mothers do. But mothers are mothers. You know, would she look different? In France, I don't think she looked dramatically different. Um, Maybe a little string bag to, to go to the grocery store? Probably dressed a little nicer, mm -hmm. you know, especially if she was in Paris. She, yeah. Let us, let's take her to Japan then. How would Mama be different then? Oh, Give me a... That's interesting. A, I have never, never considered that. Well, you, uh, you're seen in a number of countries. Like Japan. Okay. The, um, I could hum a little Japanese music <laughs> if you might. The interesting thing is, that in, in Japan, I don't think she would relate to her children exactly the same way. She'd probably treat the son a little more uh, reticently than she would the daughter. Mm -hmm. At least that's my understanding. You are syndicated in other countries. Do you have to be aware of what countries you're going in and maybe change mom a little bit no. for each country? No, I don't. I, um, I just do my thing and then they, they worry about the rest. What do they wear on their heads in Japan? Uh, uh, you're the drawer, I don't know. They, we'll, they wear some little thing, don't they? We'll forget the head. Okay. Uh, I think what they do, what, what they do have that's distinctive is that obi, right? Mm -hmm. uh, sort of a sash. <laughs> know, and then it comes down to the floor, and she'd wear these big clogs. Oh, right, right, the big sandals. And she'd sort of, so they wear something like a comb, I think. Ah, comb. Or is that Spanish? I think they do it in, yeah, they do it in, uh, definitely in, in Japan. That's <laughs> the worst drawing I've ever done. Are you, do you consider yourself a good uh, drawer? Are you an artist? Um, I always uh, blush a little uh, under that particular uh, appellation. No, I don't. I'm not trained as an artist. I, I draw fairly well. Uh, cartooning, uh, for me, has sort of developed like uh, handwriting, you know, like the Palmer method we used to use in school. It just Is came this something to you started out when you were a little boy saying I was going to be a cartoonist? Yeah, absolutely. Since I've yeah, since I been five, uh, I mean, that was my, my ambition. But um, I never studied it. I never hmm. learned how to draw. Most of my colleagues are very good draftsmen. And unfortunately, today, uh, some of the well, some of the best art is to be the best, you know, commercial art illustration is to be found in the comic strips. The, the reduced so drastically on the comic page that you can't really appreciate it. So it's become a matter of more of what you say rather than how you draw it. You know. Interesting. How about making Mama Italian? Are you syndicated in Italy and stuff? Yes, I am. As a matter of fact, uh, I don't know if there's a national costume. Um, let's try Russian, shall we? Okay. Uh, Russian I've is never been to Russia, and it might okay. be fun. This, uh, this may help you never get in. You never know. Yeah. Well, once having gotten in, never get out. That seems to be the problem. <laughs> Little Persian lamb. Cossack mama. Does everyone appreciate cartoons about mothers? Well, most people do, because they, they seem to uh, relate to it. Everybody has either had one, or is one, or both. <laughs> and uh, once in a while, I, somebody's feelings are hurt a little bit. And I get a, you know, a nasty letter. One lady in New York recently wrote, and uh, I love to frame these letters, you know, the bad ones. She. Uh, requested that I take a, as she put it, a, a long walk off a short building. Ooh. Yeah. What had you done? She, that she really hated her? me. 
Are there certain things that you've done? You've drawn a panel and you thought it was hysterical, and later uh, you found out that the, the mail was piling up, that people just weren't ready for Mama doing whatever? Or Miss no, Peach? that, hasn't, that no. really hasn't happened. Miss Peach, yes. That's happened a lot, because Miss Peach tends to get a little bit uh, political. Mm -hmm. So that, that has happened to me. But no, Mama hasn't... Uh, um, it's not that controversial, really. I like Russian Mama. Yeah. That's, uh, that's good. A little plate of borscht. <laughs> the potato in it. Would she treat her family differently? I don't think so. I think Russian mother has invented motherhood. My own mother is, uh, is a Russian. Is your mother part of, uh, part of Mama? Yeah, very much so. She, she inspired it. Does she know that? And is she happy about it? <laughs> she, uh, she, she, she thinks the strip is, is funny, but she doesn't identify with it. She thinks I'm doing my Aunt Helen. And uh, how does Aunt Helen feel about it? And Helen is no longer here to uh, comment. But while she was, uh, she seemed to enjoy it. My mother pretends, you know, for the sake of appearances, that she's the mama of the comic strip, but uh, she gives me a big wink when she does. If I'm 18 years old and I'm talented, uh, how would I become a cartoonist? Just draw a lot of pictures. If you're talking about syndicated comic strips, uh, you need three or four weeks of it, send it into uh, one of the major syndicates and, and keep your fingers crossed. Will someone actually look at it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They will indeed look at it. Um, and they're always looking for new material. Das Vidanya, Mama. <laughs> and Mel Lazarus, thank you very much uh, for thank being you, with Jim. us. Thank you for being with us here on uh, Passport Profile, and we will have more for you, so be sure to keep, uh, stay tuned. enjoyed tonight's features on HTN, America's Family Channel. Home Theater Network is a service of Group W Westinghouse Broadcasting and Cable Incorporated. We welcome your comments regarding our programs, and we hope you'll send them to us at 465 Congress Street, Portland, Maine, 04101. Thanks for subscribing to HTN. Have a good morning.